more than 1,000 bikes in Uganda, and we have very aggressive expansion plans beyond Kenya and Uganda. And on matters technology, Huawei has embarked on a residential smart PV Luna 2.0 and EWS product for solar energy into the East African market. The new model equipment has the capacity to store more energy, hence enabling consumers to avoid the blackout menace. The Luna 2.0 model is an upgrade of the previously launched Luna 1.0, which has been installed in thousands of residential homes and micro, small and medium enterprises offices across Eastern Africa. We have launched our newest residential product. It's called the Luna 2.0. This is some solar energy equipment for homes and residences. It will allow homeowners to say goodbye to blackouts and also to save a ton of money by using more solar energy, which is of course free energy from the sun. Um, some of the best features are that it has a seamless switchover. That means if you're using KPLC and there's a blackout, it will switch to the solar and batteries in less than 20 milliseconds. So it's very fast, it's seamless. You won't even know there's a blackout. Your lights won't blink, your Wi-Fi router won't go off, and your DSTV won't go off. In Kenya, we are facing challenges with uh, electricity, the prices of electricity going up. We also have issues um, with uh, power outages. And the, this residential solar system from Huawei is one of the solutions, the innovative solutions that is coming out into the market that is helping Kenyans to cope with uh, some of these challenges. Right, now let's head to Kiambu County. Coffee farmers from Gatundu South in Kiambu are up in arms over the government delay.